CE34 coming on scale, 400 sand to Semex Mission Valley. Good morning, top of the morning to you. Thanks for tuning in on today's video. Uh, I gotta let you guys know, <laughs> I was recording earlier this morning, but I messed up. Instead of recording in the super view, I was recording in linear, so it looks a little different. Uh, I'm not gonna let that footage go to waste, so here you go. Good morning, Skill House. Crest Equipment CE34 checking in. Picking up 400 sand, Old Castle North Side. I got another video for you guys. This one is just gonna be a uh, come along for today's adventure at work <laughs> type of videos. It's 6.06 .06 in the morning and I am picking up sand and I'm taking it to a cement mixing plant. 400 sand, 25 tons please. 400 sand, 25 tons. No, I can't hear you. I got me 400 sand. I don't know if it's for Old Castle or Cemex. Sand for it, thank you. <laughs> That's my co-worker. I'm telling you man the freaking radios in these trucks in in these company trucks that we're driving they freaking suck all right everybody smile and wave smile and wave <laughs> smile and wave oh he didn't even look all right ce34 coming on scale 400 sand to old castle north side Gloomy ass day. So this place, it's a cement mixing plant, but they make like, I don't know, like electrical boxes, commercial tubing. A bunch of cement boxes. Honestly, I have no idea. That's just what they tell me. Some of you watching probably know what all this stuff is for. This guy. Duh. That guy right there, man. He'll get so close to me every other time I come in here and he doesn't even like make eye contact. So I don't know if he sees me or not. Oh my gosh. Every time. All right, time to park this beast in the freaking tightest spot you'll ever see. I can wear my hard hat with this camera. There we go. 
freaking hard hat probably looks ridiculous. Look at this. Somebody come take a look at this. Oh my God. <laughs> Bear with me guys. I'm slowly waking up over here. Got to get up at 4.15 in the morning for this work. It ain't pretty. It ain't pretty, but you know what? It's fun and uh, I have a good time doing it, so. Let's go dump the second bucket. So all the sand gets dumped here. This sand comes from Mexico, by the way. I guess it's cheaper to import the sand from Mexico than use the sand here in the States. So it goes all the way down here. It goes up the belt into the silos and they take it from there. And they have a bunch of moldings. I think this is a molding here for some of those boxes. A bunch of moldings in there and they just, you know, they do what they do. So that's a wrap here at Old Castle. Now I'm gonna head back over there to that plant where I just came from, get loaded with more sand and take it to another cement mixing plant. Uh, this time I'm going more, I guess, uh, inland, inner city. This is kind of like the outer city, so. So anyways, uh, thanks for tuning in on today's video. I'm just, I mean, there's, there's no real topic for this video. You're just coming along with me um, on today's adventure at work. Wow, look at that thing. It's freaking rocking back and forth. <laughs> but you guys are just coming along with me for today. Nothing crazy going on. Just another day, another dollar pretty much. But um, a quick little update on me getting my own truck it's now the tail end of july i'm approaching my one year experience mark that i'm seeking out i got a lot of money saved up for a down payment on a brand new truck if not maybe just a year or two old because i really don't want to have to worry about any maintenance when i'm out there on the road Yes, it's not 100% proof. You know, I'm still gonna run into little hiccups every now and then, but the newer, the better in my opinion. So yeah, I'm still working, still trying to get that one year experience. I only got about a month left to get that. And then, um, yeah, I'll be trying to get a new truck. So anyways, I just got loaded with 400 sand. That's what they call it here. It's just sand coming from uh, Mexico. I guess it's cheaper to import sand from Mexico than they use our own sand here in the States. So I got sand about 25 tons worth and I'm taking it to a cement mixing plant over in uh, Mission Valley. So come along for the adventure laddies. Let's go get her done. Let's go get her done. has to be the easiest plant to drop sand at. Cool thing about this grizzly, this thing right here, this is called a grizzly. I can dump the whole entire bucket in one go and I'll be good. Once this light is lit, this light is lit. I wait for this thing to turn on. And then uh, I'm good to go. There it is. Uh, 
and then I just pull up, drop the other one real quick from in here, and I'm good. That's pretty much it. That is my entire day. Then I go back and I get loaded and I just come right back here and do the same thing about six or seven times in one day. And that's a wrap. Oh, coffee is so good. All right, let's get out of here. You know, growing up in San Diego and coming to Mission Valley, this area, I never knew there was a cement mixing plant right here. I that's a cool thing about this gig right here this job I go all over San Diego and I visit all the unknown locations that I've never been to before pretty cool pretty awesome not bad I wonder how many of you watching this uh, that's from San Diego knew that right here in the schmack middle of Mission Valley you got a cement mixing plant who would have thought huh who would have thought? Anyways, carry on. Something tells me I'm gonna be sitting here in this line for a minute. I guess there's uh, something going on with the bucket on that loader. Next truck, 400 sand, 25 tons. 400, 25 tons, please. See, I don't even know if he heard that. Probably not, because he's not moving quick. Uh, I'm gonna repeat myself. 400 sand, 25 tons, please. <clears throat> Dude. <laughs> this guy's patience is like not there. I've been yelled at by this guy a handful of times. My coworkers even more than me. All the other truckers like, dude. Yeah, the last time he yelled at me, he told me turn wide or keep turning, keep turning. And I was, I knew what I was doing. I was going wide so the bucket would be lined up with his scooper his bucket better and um i knew what to do i guess he thought i didn't know what i was doing and he was like jumping on the radio yelling at me turn 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 keep turning anyways i knew what i was doing and uh once i finished my turn and i parked it for him to dump the dirt or sand in the bucket i told him yeah dude i know i know how to turn like i was just turning wide so so you know it'd be a better lineup for your bucket and he was like okay you know it just looked like you weren't gonna turn and i was like no nope, i've been around here been yelled at one too many times i know how it works around here and he kind of laughed and he said okay i was like yeah i do not like being yelled at but i try to pay attention to what i'm doing and stay out of trouble around here anyways that guy's funny though because sometimes when it gets busy here and you get drivers that have never been in this plant they'll just like start doing weird things that instead of asking you know hey what do i do where do i go they'll just kind of go and do stuff and this guy will see that and he'll jump on the radio and he'll start chewing them out it's kind of funny it's, it's kind of unprofessional but it's kind of funny at the same time because uh they're all old they're all not patient they're all done with it CE 34 coming on scale 400 sand to Semex Mission Valley they're over it they don't give a they'll yell at whoever and not care got a new dispatch y'all we're going to we're going somewhere over there we're gonna pick up some rock dust and we are taking it that way rocked us to another cement mixing slash asphalt mixing plant. Oh my god, I hate coming here, man. This freaking road sucks. And if I go any slower than that, I'll get stuck right there. 
So I only got one axle on this truck and there's power going only the, to the right side. There's no power going to the left side. Funny story, I actually uh, broke down here, right over there, about a month ago. Well, it wasn't like a full breakdown, but there was a problem with the truck and I couldn't really move, so it sucked because it was after hours. CE34 on the outside scale for lightweight. 30K right on the money. Scale house copy. Damn it, dude. Thank you. I'll be picking up uh, rock dust, taking it to Miramar HMA. That guy's cool. That other guy that just loaded me, he seems like very blunt, straightforward. Like if he doesn't have to waste his time saying something like, you're welcome, <laughs> he won't. And then that guy that I said he's cool, he's, he's like the 10-4 guy. He's always saying 10-4, 10-4. 10 4 10 4 the, he I kid you not he's had a whole conversation where his response was only 10 4 he would say 10 4 10 4 10 4 10 4 he would use it like over and over and over it's kind of crazy but anyways all right please don't be over 80k CE34 on the outside scale rocked us to uh, Miramar HMA. You got AF59 back in. I need an auto for 3H for mail Oh, nice. That'll work. <laughs> right on. So, that little breakdown story um, the def sensor was a little jacked up. So the truck was only rated to go five miles an hour, nothing above that. So I was stuck right here for like two hours waiting for the mechanic guys to come over here and diagnose the problem. Cause at the time I didn't know what the problem was. I just called them in and said, hey, the truck isn't going fast at all. And I just got loaded and it was my last load for the day. And uh, I got stuck. So at the end of my work day, I was stranded. It was hot. Yeah, thank you, sir. And I didn't know how long I was gonna be there. I didn't get back to the yard till like maybe 4.30, which is about an hour and a half later than usual. And I didn't get home till like five o'clock, which sucked, but I got paid for that time. So it worked out. Anyways, off to Miramar. Some of you guys watching this might recognize this little spot right here. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> That's my uh, my old schoolyard. That was my old schoolyard. United Trucking. Anyways, carry on, carry on. So these guys are getting 25 tons of some good old rock dust. Rock dust is what they need. I gotta wait for this belt to move all the way over to that pile right there that kind of looks a little low, which explains why I'm bringing the rock dust. Cause that pile is typically three, four times bigger than that. All right. Some nasty stuff, man. I hate breathing in all this. Before I was interrupted by the air. 
I said I hate breathing in all this dust. Forms massive boogers and then I start coughing it up. Gets in my eyes and I'm wearing contact lenses. It's not pretty, man. Right next door on the other side of that fence is uh, MCAS Miramar Marine Corps Air Station. It's where they filmed the first Top Gun. Had a little bit of work going over there on base. They have their own little cement mixer plant. I probably went there for about a month. It was all right. A few times I had to get up like at two in the morning, be at work by three. Because they get some of their material from about two hours north. That was a 5 a.m. pickup. That sucked. But it was cool. Could have been worse. The bad thing is if I overshoot this, I can't back up. Cause I won't have, I don't have enough traction to, to push this uh, trailer back. And I can't go down and around because the last time someone did that, I'm not gonna say who, they lost control of this trailer because it was fully uh, loaded and all that weight shifted and it smacked into the freaking side over there and they ended up breaking some stuff. So if I overshoot it, oh well, I'm dumping it right here. No traction to back up and I'm not risking crashing on the way down. God, I can already feel all that dust in my nose. Uh, it's just dandy. <laughs> Dude, I almost got stuck again. This guy up here, the other uh, double belly, the bottom dump, he was climbing up that hill back there real slow. So here at this plant, there's like four different spots where you can get stuck if you don't drive up the hill fast enough. The first one is back there. The second one is there. There's another one up over there, and yeah, there's three. Those are the three. This guy was coming up real slow. His wheels were spinning, and uh, I'm coming up behind him, not noticing he's he's going up slow, and I almost get stuck too. I almost got stuck. Almost got stuck. See, if I go too slow right here, I'll lose traction and then I'll lose my momentum and I'll get stuck and I won't be able to get myself out. I'll have to have one of these loaders chain me up to, and hitch me on the front and drag me out. It's happened up there on that little peak up there. Not because I wasn't going fast enough, but because I had to stop because other trucks were passing by right there and they weren't giving me enough room. So to avoid a collision, I had to hit my brakes and stop and uh, I got stuck. I've been stuck over there twice and I have never been stuck there and I, I've been stuck at the entrance once. That was like my first time coming here. It ain't fun, but we get stuck in these uh, bottom dumps all the time. Anyways, it's already 120. It's probably gonna be my last uh, load for the day. Thanks, Mike. Have a good evening, buddy. Gary, see you tomorrow. Where's this guy going? Hey, loader, can I get 25 tons rock dust, please? I don't. Does he want to load me over there or over here? I have no freaking idea. I thought I was next in line. This white truck comes out of nowhere and the loader disappears. What the heck? Sometimes we get loaded over there. Most of the time we get loaded here. I don't know where he's going, but I was definitely next in line. I don't know, dude. I don't know. I don't know, but I get paid hourly. That's what I know. Hello, Potter. 
Okay, so that white truck went over there to get a lightweight. I don't know what the loader is doing. Maybe he's got to use the bathroom. These mirrors give me a headache. And I put this little piece of paper here to try to stop all that vibration, but it doesn't really hold more than a day. Which is very unfortunate. I mean, that didn't really do anything, right? I did a little bit. Let's see if I can make it a little thicker. Maybe this way. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. It's hot. I gotta pee again. The truck just turned off. Oh, just dandy. Let me see if I can get this mirror too while I'm at it. Since I'm just sitting here. Alright, alright. Let's see how long that guy stays there. Probably not too long, but you know, worth a shot. And here comes uh, Mr. Loader. Right. All righty, thank you, sir. 10-4. Just make sure I don't get ran over over here. CE 34 on the outside skill. Rocked us to Miramar HMA. Oh, you know what? This stuff is so dry. You see what that guy's doing? How he's throwing water on the top of his load? That's what I that's what I should be doing with this because it's super dry. When I'm on the freeway, all that dust flies out. I think I can get pulled over for that. So I'm gonna go over there and do that. y'all that's a wrap on this video thanks for tuning in if you enjoyed it leave me a like maybe subscribe just gonna dump out this second trailer here and uh head on back to the yard fuel up close out my paperwork and head home that's a wrap thanks again for watching i'll see you guys in the next one